I just started to open this inverter. It has a problem that um, sometimes the screen reads, it has, for example, 50 volts. And then when we test the battery, it has like only 47 or sometimes 44. And then the alarm, the low battery alarm comes on. So um, I will just open this one up and see and if I see anything that is um, wrong with from the inside so yeah just open it up and we'll see if there's a problem it's not the first this is the second inverter that i experienced with uh, this type of problem the first one that uh, was a refurbished one which i bought from the signature solar but this one is a complete new one i have installed this one seven months ago it has been working flawlessly but now it started to give me the same problem that um, my refurbished one um, caused so yeah we will open it up i already uh, removed a the panel here it's uh, where the screen goes and and where we do all the wiring so um now i will go ahead and open the rest of the uh, inverter you're probably asking why not just contact the company for example this one i bought at signature solar why not just contact them for warranty this one has a uh, three years of warranty. I have only installed it for seven months. Uh, co contacting Signature Solar for uh, uh, tech support, it is a pain. It it takes long and well, usually don't they just don't respond. If it's something a bit complicated, they won't even respond. I have sent them an email two weeks ago and I haven't gotten any response back as yet. So I'll just go ahead and uh, do it myself, open it and see if I, f if I find anything faulty in the, uh, from the inside and then uh, the next thing you're probably asking why just not update the firmware uh, I haven't done that yet but I did that on the other one on the refurbished one it didn't help a tiny bit it just didn't help, help at all uh, updating the firmware so I'll see if there's something faulty inside this time Okay, now I have it open and uh, it didn't take long for me to find a problem on this one. Let's um, look into it. Okay, um, this is where the positive and negative attaches. You see those um, connections there. They don't look very strong like on the inverter part on the board. Let's go inside and see right there where they connect to the main board. What do you see there? There's the negative that is fried. You see that? So uh, there is apparently the problem and which I believe it was my problem on the other one too, but that one I never opened. But I'll go ahead once I get home, I will go ahead and open that one too. So and um, this battery terminal is simply not built strong enough for this 6 kilowatt inverter. Yes, I believe the uh, manufacturer needs to um needs to fix that if they want to sell these units because it's a it's a nice unit. It, it works fine. I like it, but uh, this is a this is an issue with this uh, models. They should um fix that if they want to um, sell more of these products because um, I won't install these a lot if uh, these uh, problems will continue to appear. I spoke to a technician that fixes inverters and he told me that uh, he tried to fix one of these units before and it just simply didn't work. So better I just replace this one and then uh, see if, uh, if there's a way to to actually fix these units i believe uh, it's not very simple like the refurbished one that i purchased from signature solar that one gave me a problem right away so if they couldn't fix it i mean um, then i honestly believe that 
the technicians over here won't be able to fix them either. But since Signature Solder is not responding to me, I guess I will just uh, need to replace them by myself. Yeah, I think that is why Signature Solar is not having or selling this model anymore. That's probably simply because of uh, they might have a lot of these issues. That's why they stopped uh, having this model and now they have another model which replaces this one built by Lux Power. I will replace this one uh, for a Lux Power 6K to 6000 XP. Okay, I have connections to the main manufacturer for this uh, units. I know who builds them. I will go ahead and contact them, see if they could uh, actually fix that problem. That they will um, make some adjustments on the unit uh, for uh, yeah to solve that problem. See if they'll do that actually. Okay, now I am at home. I will open up the refurbished inverter. We'll see how that looks from the inside. This is the refurbished inverter that I mentioned. As you can see, it is a bit beat up. That's the way I received it. Okay, as you can see, this one is the positive terminal that is fried, not the negative one. So it has the same problem, it's just on the other uh, leg. Let me know if you have ever installed one of these inverters and if they worked good or if you experienced the same problems I did. If you did, did you find a solution for the problem? Please let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you.